Hello, Jack. Thanks, Jack. Thanks so much for coming to Brighton and Hove. Um, as you know, I'm a local councillor and I'm really interested to know how best I can show solidarity and support for anyone in my ward who's affected by poverty um, and, and the sorts of issues that you were affected by. Um, I'd say the best thing to do as a local councillor is really listen to your constituents and um, get involved and try to solve the issues that they bring to you, whether that's helping them out with a referral to a food bank if that's appropriate, maybe pointing them, signposting them in the right direction for other charities or organisations that can help. Um, most people are in dire financial situations, not really to do with money, but because of an underpinning a lot of issues like domestic abuse, violence, drug and alcohol dependency, cuts and delays to benefits, um, welfare reforms, atos assessments, and just find out what that deeper reason is and do what you were elected to do and try and try and resolve that issue. I mean, for some people, um, some people just want somebody to talk to, someone that they know cares and is concerned about them. For me, um, I spent a lot of my time on my own, feeling like nobody cared and I couldn't talk to anybody. And when I finally reached out to my local councillor and eventually my MP for help, um, they were so supportive and so willing to help that I just kicked myself for not doing it earlier. So would you urge people to contact their, their councillor? Definitely, their I would say that's exactly what they're there for. So if you've got an issue, a local issue, a constituency issue, any problems, um, can you just go to your local councillor because that's what they were elected for. They were elected to deal with your issues. So take them your issues and make them earn their allowance. <laughs> Thank you. No worries. Thank you.